Hello and welcome to my vlog. We finally made it to Switzerland after a week in Ireland. This was our random trip with a random layover that happened to be for a day and a half in Switzerland. So we basically got a free trip out of it. So here's our rental car, which is the number one nicest rental car we've ever had. My son is very happy. And then the nicest Airbnb. Check it out. Where's the light? Oh, it's cute. Wow. Like you've got to see all this. Is this where you're gonna sleep, Blair? Oh my gosh! Yes, of course I'm gonna sleep. I need to go show you something. There's even drawers. So the fun thing about this bathroom is, is I can be on the toilet and out in the bedroom at the same time. Yeah, so as fun as that wasn't, the view the next morning was insane. We decided if we had one day and one day alone to be in Switzerland, we were gonna go to the Alps, dang it. And it started with us staying in Brienz, which was right by Interlaken. Look at these cute little sweeties waking up. This day, our big plan was get to the top of the Alps. But before that, we had to explore this perfect little town and get breakfast. And as we were walking around Brienz, I looked up and I was like, this looks exactly like a painting my grandma has painted. And it was the exact spot, look at it. Blair just went, wow, what a sidewalk. But I'm so used to this from being in Germany. They always had ridiculously tiny little walkways. Barely escaping death. Blair and I have made an important discovery. This vending machine has eggs. And meat. And meat. Lots of it. And a little cheese. smiley face. It's just a cheese. It's got anything you want. It's like the room of requirements. What's this baby doing, Blair? Oh. Oh, you're looking at me? Mm -hmm. What, me? Me? Oh. <laughs> what, this fountain? Stop. Stop with this fountain. Is he carrying a fish? Yeah. <laughs> what, this fish? Couldn't tell you anything about it. But what's the ratatouille thing? Can not tell if a bread is good by tasting it or smelling, but by the sound. Yeah, it's good. How does it sound? You have to squish it a little bit. Best bread ever. I haven't eaten gluten in as many months, but I've eaten about half of this loaf of bread. It is about the bread. It's like, it's hard on the outside. But look at how squishy it is on the inside. Right, it's so good. And after divulging in the most glorious bread of my whole life, it was time to find the mountains. And find them we did. Look at this stunning view. I miss them so much. I lived in Germany when I was a teenager. And coming back to Switzerland was like revisiting all my favorite parts. The place we ended up going to was called Schilthorn and there were like four different stops on the gondola up the mountain. Each one had its own vibe, like cabins, and the further up you got, the crazier it got. At one point, the very top, there was like a thrill walk, but we'll get to that in a second. Look at these views on the way up. Mountains are great in the US, but there's something majestic about these mountains in Switzerland. Apparently Schlitthorns, not Schlitthorn, Schilthorn, no! Schilthorns claim to fame was that it was a part of one of the James Bond movies. There was a whole museum. Look at these hideous pictures that we took of us inserting ourselves into James Bond movies. Hello, I am Bond, James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're doing the thrill walk. There's the kiddos coming down. Looks like she goes down the mountain. We're gonna, I have you to let these people. Oh, you've done it? We're gonna go across this. Come on, go with me. 
Wait, 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 Did anyone else think I was just about to die? I made it anyways, it was fine. But it was a little frightening. And Blake was so scared, bless his heart. But don't you worry, he overcomes his fears eventually. This little one, on the other hand, had zero fears at all. They have like little like scary things, that's so cool. You have to try to walk on it. I'm walking on it. Just don't go on the glass part. It's like they're trying to find like a million ways to freak yourself out. There was the glass, there was the ridge, and now there's this. Kind of scary. It's just me, the family is gone. It's so pretty though. It's so cold. Look. The Alps. Okay. okay, we've reached the next level of trying to freak us out. Grabbed one and said he was stress eating. Okay, I want one. I'll take you, kind sir. Ugh. So good. Oh, I lost half of mine. But mm -hmm. I got this guy. Come on. Mm, that's good. Ooh, I have a booger. Freaked out to go through the tunnel. Uh huh. And he was like, and like his friend was like cheering him on. Like, it's okay, you can do this. He's like, that video. he got it on video. He's like, okay. And he was like, okay. And he finally did it. And then, and then um, he looked at us and he was like, I could tell that he like thought that we weren't gonna do it. And then me and then I just like ran through. <laughs> and then he's like, oh wow. And he just went ahead and did it. <laughs> you ran through so many times. <laughs> You got this, Blake. You're doing it, Blake. This one's weird for me. I don't like this one. I feel like my toe's gonna get caught. for a gift. Come on, Bear. Aww. So cute. Can you say thank you to Blake so and Dad? Cute. It looks like Elvis. It does. Yeah. Can you yeah, say thank you to D Dad and Blake? Thanks, Dad and Blake. Yeah, you're welcome. And what could be more glorious as we ended a day to the Alps with these wonderful views on the lake right by our Airbnb.
and don't mind me while I spend the rest of this vlog talking about my days in Germany and reminiscing on all the things that I had forgotten about that way that houses work here in Germany slash Switzerland and all the beautiful snacks. Mm, it brought me back. These are so good. Also, I was able to get Apfel Schorle for the first time in like 12 years ago and that's like my favorite drink and it's like martinelli sparkling cider but better almost smoother and softer i've had like different versions but like the german apple schorle like it's actually called apple schorle is the best and we've been having drinking that by the carton and german bread <sighs> i haven't been eating gluten because it gives me actions the brochen here just tearing it oh and i got that for breakfast with some real like mountain butter and I ate an entire half a loaf. Please Germany, let your gluten be good for me. We're not Germany, why do I keep saying that? It's in Switzerland, we're in Switzerland. It's like weird being back here though. Yeah. I just forgotten how palpable the experience of living in Germany was. And except for when Ben and I went back, when we first got married 12 years ago, I haven't been back to a German, Germanic country since. We stepped off the airport in Zurich and immediately there was this weird, um, what I imagine it would smell like if a bunch of apples had been thrown into the back of a barn and it kind of turned just a tad. Anyways, that smell along with this cold, almost cigarette smoke smell, as soon as I stepped off the airplane, I smelled that and I was like, memories and all these images like lightning were coming back to my mind of all these memories in Germany and these buildings and these moments and it was so crazy it was like all coming the language we went to mcdonald's and i don't speak good german but i tried and i've made a valiant effort but we went and thought they would all just speak english in the airport but then all they spoke german but they could speak english and he was telling me that in german here's your order he said the number you know i think it was 54 and then he was telling me that they did they ran out of apple juice because that's what i had ordered and I was like, oh, that's okay. I said it in English. And he said, he was giving me other options in German. Would, would you like this? Move to student, like other options. And then I was like, um, vielleicht Wasser. And I was able to like say, well, maybe just water. And he was like, asked me with or without bubbles, mit or ohne, but he said it in a sentence. And I was able to luckily pick out that he was saying with or without. And I knew from context clues that they have sparkling water. So it was with or without bubbles. And I was able to say ohne, without. And anyways, just like little communications. And then like the guy at the bakery also let me speak German. And that's the thing, like in these countries, it's not like I'm speaking German to help them. I almost feel like they're allowing me to speak German to help me. So I was able to speak German with him. And it was just so interesting, like having it come back and just reading all the signs. Genug, I saw that word and I think I'm like, I think that means enough. The things I didn't know I knew. Ein Gong is entrance. I forgot that Ausfahr exit, like all these little things. It was just really cool. And the sternness, that was also interesting. Ben and I didn't have masks because we didn't have them in Ireland. And then we'd accidentally left them in the car because I guess all public transportation in Switzerland, they wear masks, which is great. But we'd accidentally left them in the car. And I guess the gondola counts as a public transportation. And so we didn't have them and he was being cross with us. You know, you have to have them. Why don't you have them? This is common sense. You should. I was like, I'm sorry, we were just in Ireland. It's different there. It's like, well, you're in Switzerland now. And I was like, you're right, we are. And it was interesting because before that would have felt so harsh and so cold to me. I was just like, yeah, you're right. Do you have one I can use? Like I didn't feel as threatened by it as I did in the past. Later on, I kind of think I figured out a little bit why. Blake was like, man, they're so angry here. They're so grumpy. Man, they're probably like talking about us behind our back. And I was like, actually, I don't think they are. I think that whatever they needed to say, they said in the moment and they're not like passive aggressive about it. Whereas I feel like maybe in the US or in other countries, you'd be like, yeah, sure. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Oh no, that's great. You don't need a mask, you're mask. Five minutes later, you see that person who was just like trying to be friendly to you, like turn to their coworker and roll their eyes and be like, oh my gosh, why are they angry? This is Switzerland. You're not in Ireland anymore. Whereas that guy just told me to my face. It didn't feel as cold to me as it had in the past. And I, I haven't been as nervous going into stores and like not knowing the language. And usually I'm very nervous not having like some level of pre-preparation or some level of confidence based off of proving myself before. And maybe it's because I proved myself a lot, but I felt a lot more confident. And one more thing. These skylights, my, my room in Germany when I was younger had skylights just like this. And apparently that's why Ben booked this. Whoop. And we were on the top level of an apartment building. 
and my room that I loved had just like this, these wooden beams all across the ceiling. And my skylight was right above my bed. At one point I imagined a scary clown head just like hovering, climbing on the roof and just like leaning over my skylight. It was the most horrifying thing. But when I could forget that I had imagined that once, it was so cool just laying in bed and seeing all the stars every single night. And I just found it really comforting. And sometimes I would like open it up because all windows in Germany and Switzerland open very consistently in the same, of course, because it's organized. And I would just like pop my head out and just look at the whole village around me like a little gopher. We were one of the tallest buildings in the village. I'll show you how the, the windows work. Let's see. You have three settings. Downward means I'm locked. You want to put it to the side? This means pull it out. Like that's how it opens. It opens so easy. None of this like sliding up and it gets caught on the tracks. Okay. There's one more setting. Turn it all the way to the top. Nope. Flip, flip the handle all the way to the top. And that means it'll pull out just to let it breathe. It, see how it pulls it back to the top? Now push it back. Now put it all the way down to lock. And all windows that I've been to in Germany and now Switzerland are consistent across the board. There you go. Oh, the Rolladen. That's right. Okay, so this one is more high tech, I think, because it's done through these buttons. But instead of blinds on your windows, all the windows have blinds on the outside that close completely. Okay, so let's see if we can get these ones to go down. And the ones in Germany had two settings. You would actually pull out a lever and then just loosen it down. And those ones, you could either, you could lower them, but there would be holes in between each set to let in a little bit of light. And then if you let out all of the tension, it would stop off all those holes and it would be completely dark. Watch a movie in Germany, these blinds, these were lauded, they could completely seal off every single tiny, minuscule ounce of light. Our blinds are closed. So maybe we'll keep them closed. Yeah, we'll just keep them closed for now. Anyways, that's how you block off lights. You can make a house completely 100% dark if you wanted to. I think that's it. That's like giving me... Oh, here's the shoreline. It's so good. So Ben did discover a certain different setting on this. Okay, so that's... That's locked. This one, it not just tips on that end, but I'm tipping the whole skylight open like you can revolve the whole window around to what end i have no clue these ones you pull down on your own but there's like a complete seal it cuts off all light crazy not good for us because we have to get up super early in the morning that could backfire but good if you need a good night's sleep oh and wardrobes because there are no closets obviously and what are other weird things oh yeah the two duvets I don't know. It's just bringing back a lot of memories. Okay, show me Cookie's baby. Oh. <laughs> show me its little barrel. It's better than I could have hoped. Two, three. Oh. Two, three. He's doing it like you do. Oh, they're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my rant about all my nostalgic feelings of Germany. And now here's a cute video of Ben playing memory across the aisle with Lanai to keep her entertained on the 12 hour flight home. What a sweetheart and what an amazing, amazing trip. Switzerland was the favorite part for Blake and Ireland was incredible and so was Switzerland. And we are just the most blessed people. Oh my gosh, look, I drink it all on her one finger drop at a time. We are just so blessed to be able to do these things and there's nothing we love more than traveling with our cute kids and man, what a cool life. And now it's time to go home, absorb the memories and finally fall asleep.